Hey, what's up everybody? And welcome to an episode where I explain something which is completely stupid because I worked on this for like three years. I'm not kidding, three years in progress. Um, let me show you the first prototype of this thing. This is an armor swapper and I finally got it working. Uh, this is my first prototype that I had designed and it does not work, of course. But this is how complicated it was. This is the level of complicated I had here because I wasn't that great at redstone so I used pistons, right? Uh, a few prototypes later, um, we've got the fourth prototype here which works. Um, works 100% of the time as far as I know. Um, so what, what you have here is a selector panel. You can choose anything you want. So right now we have stone... Never mind. We have this here right now. I haven't actually called for stone bricks. Uh, we So we have this selected right now and if we were to select something else let's say normal minecarts in our storage there we will in a few seconds get normal minecarts there we go normal minecarts um, so let me show you how this works so right here is the selector panel um, this isn't my design I saw Etho do it um, I'll link the video where he did it, if I remember to. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really matter how this works because this isn't the main part. Uh, the main part is right here, the units themselves, because they are what make this all work and also this one little thing. Um, this took a lot of faffing around to get it right, uh, the timing for this. So, you know, kind of like really cool that I got it to work finally. Um, so here's how this works. Uh, minecart. So we select something we want rails, for example. That's in this first uh, unit right here, rails. Uh, so this minecart here, the one with the uh, minecarts, gets sent away, and it will go right here, pass over this detector rail, and because this is the one that we want, we have this one selected, uh, this is ready to go, this is being locked so it's not letting this pass until the detector rail gets switched off, or turned on to cause this to switch off, um, yeah, like that, there's a redstone torch there, this will then get sent to us, and all good, and then this minecart, because this is now empty, um, and this is going to be switched off, as soon as it passes the detector rail, um, because this is empty, uh, the this is giving us a power here which turns off this torch, so when the detector rail gets turned on, this torch will get turned off, which causes for this to switch and we get the minecart going right into here, where it belongs, because that's the missing place and it will always work like that. Um, and then if it's the same minecart, let's say we we just send that one and we have selected this one already. Um, although this one, if if we selected this one again, uh, then this stays powered on, so the minecart just passes right through and goes back to, well, back to there. Um, that what you can't do with this is you can't s request another minecart until uh, you know that everything's flowing through the system um, until this minecart here which gets sent off as a secondary minecart uh, because here's the problem that I've been having there is no way to detect if let's say I was calling for that minecart and this minecart that was coming in into there there's no way to detect when this rail gets hit by this minecart because this minecart is going to stop here as soon as it passes that rail and it's never gone past this rail so th this would never get sent that is why I have figured out how to the perfect timing well with this rail length specifically you would have to play around with this yourself um, I've figured out a specific timing when this minecart gets sent it's just late enough for this to have detected that for this unit to have detected that when it passes this rail the empty minecart when it passes this rail it should not go there and it goes early enough that if it was to work fine, let's say 
um, we have called let's say we've called this one here and we're returning this then when the minecart chest goes over this rail it sends that and that minecart goes just early enough so that when it passes this because this is now empty when it passes this it doesn't go into it and then effectively mess up the whole system because it will now go here and bump into this minecart there and now it's all ruined um, so yeah this is how this works you can also expand this as far as you want as long as your selector panel supports that um, I'm just going to show you a demonstration now, another demonstration uh, so we have minecarts right now we want rails this is how it gets sent as you saw that, mi that minecart passes right through and goes back here and then goes back into the system here um, there's a few backup minecarts here in case it does get destroyed on cactus I, I don't know if it actually can or cannot but just for safety it's like that so and now we have the rails minecart here which is all good so this works literally took me forever it was yesterday that I figured out how to do this um, and yeah I, I was making a video complaining about how this isn't working and I was gonna I was gonna ask like Seth Bling or someone to try fix it for me but it looks like I got it working by myself Seth Bling I've treated you by the time this video comes out um, to watch this and tell me if you if there's a better way of doing this other than not doing it at all because this is just so impractical because uh, you can literally just have a room of chests but yeah I thought this was pretty cool this was meant to have armor stands in it but you can't place armor stands into minecarts anymore um, at least not that I know of any ways of doing it um, and I've tried many times I remember like into boats I think or some like when they first came out and you could place them um, the stand had to be moving for it to go in so maybe that's still the case but doesn't appear so like for boats but the entity and the boat has to be moving for the entity well for the mob to go into the boat so maybe that's still the case but the point is that I made this work the way it is and yeah it's pretty good so yes uh, if you have any suggestions for any other crazy ideas such as this then be sure to comment um, there's gonna be a video linked of me figuring this out uh, it's unlisted it's an unlisted video so if you really want to see it for some reason then be sure to do so um, it's, in, it's in the description um, it's where I start complaining about it and all that stuff uh, I decided I might, might as well release it and just unlist it so if someone really cared they, they can see my thought process of making this work but yeah very very interesting project that took way too long to do so thank you for watching and yeah be sure to leave a like if you liked the video and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more and hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss anything else such as this thing but mine cuts now yay thanks for watching have a good day bye bye